Welcome to my canoe. Well, let's see, this is a response to a comment on my helmet cam setup video. Uh, guy, Dutch Midi Man, asked a question about how I got the little, uh, the, these little uh, clamp things to stick to the Velcro. They're basically rubber. They come from BIO, uh, BIO, however you want to say it the camera manufacturer and you can look at the other video if you want to know what the heck he's talking about but as you see they got a little notch in there and the wire sticks to it but since they're flexible you kind of you know flex them out around the cable and put them on there so the question was how to get them to how to get velcro to stick to the back of it if you have these they come in their little mount kit things they come with uh, velcro all pre-cut, like it's supposed to fit on there and work well, and it doesn't. It's junk. So what you need is alternate Velcro. This actually, I think, is uh, Velcro brand. Uh, otherwise, I would say something like hook and loop something or other. I get this from my brother, who works in uh, helicopter repair, that kind of stuff, uh, maintenance. Uh, whatever. And they actually use this to stick on body panels, this particular stuff. Um, so yeah, some of those helicopters flying above your head are held together with Velcro. Works really good. Uh, but any kind of sticky stuff, sticky back stuff other than the stuff uh, Bio gives you, will probably work. But the backs of these are effectively hollow. And I'm gonna. Here's a damaged one I made, and it didn't work out right, and it looked all nasty. So uh, I'm gonna peel this off here. Got it off already once, and sort of put it back. So it should come off again. Ah, okay. So now, hopefully, let's see. Sorry about the lighting. The camera's in the garage uh, because I was. Well, I was fixing my canoe. That's the word. Uh, and I'm too lazy to move it. So you see that uh, behind this clamp is rubber clampy thing. is is basically a hollow molding. You know, there's all that gap space in there. Um, that gap space. You can almost turn this thing inside out. Um, so what you have to do is you have to fill that with something. Uh, tip is super glue, and most super glue like compounds do not work. Uh, so don't try that. Um, this is another one here that I don't use anymore, and I'll give it a shot. We'll see how it looks. So, you'll notice that part of this guy is uh, quite a bit more solid looking. It doesn't just fold out completely. It's been filled, though I did a really poor job of it. I don't use it because it ended up kind of ugly. Um, but this is one of the first attempts to fill it with something decent. So with something decent, enter epoxy. Uh, most epoxies, if left to cure, will stay somewhat flexible. But they don't really need to flex inside these little channels. There's no real spot to fill right behind there, which is the only place you'll end up flexing it. Um, so, it actually works pretty good. I use uh, all different types. This is commonly available stuff. It comes with a little mixing uh, needle, I guess. fits on there. It goes ahead and mixes the two parts. Uh, all happens instantly. Um, and the fine little nozzle on there is a lot better for sort of getting it in there. It's thick and kind of viscous, so when you're putting it in there, just be patient and um, let it sort of flow. I didn't on this one, and as a consequence, you know, it just doesn't look that good, and I didn't quite fill it up nicely. So you just keep going gently, gently, gently. You won't use very much of it. Um, and make sure it's just slightly proud, so when you look at it on the profile, uh, while it's still wet, it's just ever so slightly proud because it will sort of shrink back 
just a bit and expect that you might have one that you learn on. But at any rate, that's how I got the Velcro to stick to the back. Pretty much any Velcro should stick to it um, once you've filled it up. And I haven't had a problem with the Velcro coming off. The other part I did say, was, or I did do, was I tossed the Velcro that came with the little kit. And I even had a guy from, uh, from the company say that the Velcro that came in the little mount kit was a, a poor quality. Uh, quality. That actually sticks on there pretty good. Um, and, but once it's a solid surface to connect to, and probably any decent Velcro stuff you get down at a craft store or anything like that will stick, I would imagine. At any rate, these are two junk ones. There you go. That's how I did it. Uh, another question uh, that you had about the extension cable. The extension cable I use is one that's designed for use with all their other cameras. It's not specifically said to work with the HD, but it does. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. I know that sometimes, or I think there's been some postings around on uh, forums and people say, uh, or BIO comes out and doesn't suggest you use that cable. I do, because I route the audio piece up to the front, uh, as you saw in the video. I'm not going to make it non-waterproof by adding a different thing, and I'm not going to mount the uh, recording unit uh, on my neck. And the only other option is to take off the waterproof -y or water-resistant whatever cap and plug in an external mic. Well, I'm not going to do that. It defeats my purpose. I want some one single piece kind of thing. Uh, so I think it's kind of silly the way they set it up. But So I use the extension cable, and it seems to have worked. It doesn't seem to be a problem. Uh, it's the same number of pins and everything. So there you go. <clears throat> all right, that's about all for my canoe. Got to get back to uh, <clears throat> putting in my inflow bags, you know, so it doesn't fill up the water. Bye.